Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this Sunday, August 20th, 2023. It's about 12.07 p.m. here, California time. And taking a look at the latest satellite imagery here of what's left here. Tropical storm still. Uh, Hillary making its way currently just south of the Baja California border here with California. Notice that area of circulation right about here things are just going to start getting very active in southern california as tropical storm hillary continues to advance into southern california also bringing up a whole bunch of moisture uh, into the area of or of uh, northern california and nevada as well uh, the latest informational statement here that was put out uh, shows 11 a.m mountain standard time here we should get another update uh, probably within the hour uh, but the latest information here on Tropical Storm Hillary, 65 mile per hour sustained winds uh, moving off towards the north northwest at about 25 miles per hour. So it is kicking up pretty quickly. And uh, there is the Tropical Storm warning still in effect here for Southern California. Now things are definitely uh, picking up in terms of rainfall rates. Uh, here's a look at the uh, weather underground um, information here with Tropical Storm Hillary. The estimated arrival time of the area of circulation just north of san diego is going to be about five o'clock right now again it's centered just uh south here of the border area probably about halfway in between these two green dots uh, so we'll see that continue advance through the day today and of course it will weaken uh it'll weaken quite rapidly as it has been um and continue to weaken as it heads north into uh nevada area now the latest rainfall out here does show some storms picking up. Uh, we do have a se severe potential today uh, and mainly the severe potential is because of the flooding concern uh, but also a tornado risk out in Southern California. Now the Storm Prediction Center, let me bring that up here. Storm Prediction Center has the uh, Southern California area and a little portion of Arizona in a slight risk category today and that is mainly due to a tornado potential 5% uh, and these storms are just starting to fire fire up as you've seen here on the uh, it's going to be the north northeastern segment here of the area of circulation the eye wall or what's left of it of uh, tropical storm Hillary we'll watch this area as storms are now just beginning to fire up quite a bit of rainfall stretching up into Los Angeles again the heavier brunt of it is just now making its way into Southern California and that's where we expect those uh, thunderstorms to really pop up again 5% chance for tornado probability uh, Lake Havasu area Arizona Cathedral City California Palm Desert California 5% including Yuma it looks like Arizona uh, so if you're out there today you know you got to deal with the rain potential for flooding and throw on some tornadoes uh, at least a chance for it today so we'll continue to watch that uh, for development. Let's check out the warnings layer here real quick. Uh, go back here. I've seen it. Warnings. Uh, see what we got. Most of this is going to be uh, severe thunderstorm potential out here. Hurricane statement. Tropical storm warning there in Southern California. A flood watch. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of potential here for severe weather today. Uh, up north, this yellow area is going to be a, a flood watch as well up in the sierra nevada and uh throughout arizona this area in nevada is uh, very dry so i'm sure they could utilize that rainfall right uh but we'll definitely uh continue to watch hurricane uh tropical storm hillary hurricane hillary is no more <laughs> but these guys are showing 55 mile per hour wind gusts uh with well gusts up to 75 miles per hour but the sustained winds are what the uh, what matters as far as the category. And right now it does fit within that tropical storm box that will continue to weaken. Um, let's check out wind speed. See what's going on out there for wind right now. Actually, I'll just click on this hurricane box here and we'll be able to see that and everything else along with it. Uh, wind gust. Here it comes. Like I say, it's just beginning to pick up into the Gulf of California. All that uh, is just starting to make its way up here into southern california as well we'll expect that to increase in wind and rain accumulation throughout the afternoon as tropical storm hillary advances in and they're expecting roughly about a 5 p.m 
um, time frame far as the brunt of this coming in later today. As you can see, 5 p.m., that area of circulation should be north of San Diego, bringing in with it most of the moisture and the convection on the south uh, eastern side of the of the area and of course wind speeds will kick up and rainfall accumulation as well so just be on guard stay safe out there uh, please send us your videos and pictures uh, and if um, we get enough of them we'll show some on the air later tonight so let us know what you guys are seeing out there on the ground I was I was definitely looking forward to going out there, but I have stuff I have to do. I got classes starting tomorrow, my fall semester classes here at the college, so I have to be here for that. Pretty important. Otherwise, I would have been down there. It was already planned, but then, you know, things got uh, things got real. And besides, this uh, tropical storm arriving much sooner than expected. Either way, we'll, we'll try to catch it next time. So if you got pictures, video, send them to me and we'll try to pop them up on the air later tonight. Um, earthmastermail at gmail.com is my email. Earthmastermail at gmail.com is my email. You can also find that information here on my channel on the YouTube. So make sure you send those pictures and video and uh, along with location and uh, the permission to use it on in my video. Look forward to seeing some of your guys' uh, pictures. Uh, right now here in Northern California, it's 82 degrees, cloudy. It just had some sprinkles here outside of Chico. I don't think we're going to hit 95 degrees today. Um, it's really cloudy and uh, it's you know, already up. It's noontime, so it's already just about 82 degrees. So I don't think we're going to hit 95. It's going to be a, a rather cooler day out here across the majority of the West Coast. All right, let's double check here with the tropical tidbits or uh, numerical models from tropicaltidbits.com on the um, HRR model. I want to see where some of these thunderstorms are going to be popping up mostly uh, throughout the day today. Yeah, southwest here will work. This is the current GFS image, but we want to go down a little bit and check out the high resolution radar. Here's those storms that are just now starting to fire up in Southern California. Those are the ones that you want to watch for uh, strong embedded thunderstorms and the tornado potential there in Southern California this afternoon. It's just getting going. So if you're in this area that was in the 5% uh, and the 2%, you do have a probability of these uh, storms firing up. Not only uh, tornado possibilities, but some stronger wind gusts uh, throughout the area. So here's that low pressure system, or at least the tropical storm coming into Southern California, bringing with it that uh, those line of thunderstorms there. You can see the uh, individual discrete cells popping up. Those are the ones that harbor the most for tornado probability. And of course, that's where, gonna, where the uh, most of the heavier rainfall is going to be taking place there as well. Um, so throughout the uh, afternoon, early evening, that's what you guys got to deal with. A whole bunch of rainfall coming in as that uh, pressure kicks up and um, travels northward let me check out the uh, this model here this is another different weather model that kind of shows the potential of area of, of interest in terms of thunderstorms down here watch this area across the salt and sea area blow up uh, with some discrete cells and that's going to stay pretty wet throughout the evening northern california up here around chico looks like we could even get in on some showers i don't know about thunderstorms maybe a couple up in the mountains but uh, for the most part, looks like just rain, a little bit of rain showers, which I'll take. Uh, I should have held off on barbecue, and I barbecued last night. Uh, but days like this, cloudy, kind of windy up here, make me want to barbecue. I don't know if I'm going to barbecue again because, well, I have leftovers. Either way, that is going to be um, the story throughout the day today. I have some issues going on with the earthquake or the uh, Hillary live stream, so I went ahead and ended that. I'm just going to focus strictly on. Um, what's going on right now far as um, uh, Hurricane Hillary uh, just on this channel or on this live stream for now. Either way, uh, it's going to be an active day. Uh, I may include the radar imagery up here onto the live stream instead of the solar weather activity because solar weather right now is kind of on the, uh, on the uh, quiet side. All right, uh, let's check out earthquake activity here real quick, see what we have going on. Anything major going on overnight? 
Uh, let's check out the largest activity. Looks like 5.4 San Jose Village there around the Mariana Islands. A fairly shallow earthquake at the surface level. Most of the time we get some deeper movement quakes here, but this is uh, at the surface around the Mariana Islands. 10 kilometers deep. Aside from that, some movement there in Alaska as well from yesterday. Um, and in fact, all of those fives there from yesterday. Look at that. I did see a 4.9 Solomon Islands, about 78 kilometers deep. Uh, so things look somewhat quiet here today. We'll watch this uh, west coast as, um, you know, that tropical storm is hitting the Southern California area. That could potentially stir up some earthquakes out here along the fault systems that are locked and loaded uh, with the heavy rainfall that, uh, you know, the percentage, the chances, I believe, go up there. A little bit of activity on the Pacific side of the plate boundary here earlier this morning. 1.3, just off the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Also some activity north of Big Bear City, Big Bear Lake area, in the uh, northern segment here of the San Bernardino Mountains. A little bit of swarming activity, including a 3.3 kicking up here uh, earlier this morning. There's that swarm kicking off here. In the Sulphur Mountains area, it looks like that has died off. Yesterday was really kicking up here with a... Quite a few various magnitudes of earthquakes. The largest was a 2.5, but pretty good swarm off of this uh, fault system right here. Uh, Northern California, a little spotty activity. Not really seeing anything major going on. A little activity across Idaho. 3.3 in Stanley, Stanley, Idaho. About 7 o'clock this morning. Let's double check Yellowstone. Let me bring up the Yellowstone overview. That's just a beautiful image. Yellowstone looks a little on the uh, quiet side. There's that 3.3 in Idaho earlier this morning showing up across Yellowstone. But for the most part, most of the movement here locally at Yellowstone is just some small microquake activity. All right, let's go back here to the USGS map and uh, look at the rest of the world, which looks fairly minimal for now. Uh, I'm not seeing any major uptick anywhere as far as swarming goes. The Big Island of Hawaii. Things uh, taking a little pause there across the Kilauea Volcano with, um, uh, let's see here, Mauna Loa showing a little bit of activity, 2.0 in the last hour. It's been a relatively light earthquake activity here across Mauna Loa recently. Uh, and of course, Kilauea Volcano did have that swarming over the last couple weeks, that has since died down, but we'll continue to monitor that as always. Uh, let's check out the Earthquake 3D Globe. Looks like some movement over here, eastern Afghanistan and into China as well. Uh, generally, uh, looks like fours and fives. Not a whole lot of clustering going on here across the Indonesia Islands area today. Uh, so potential for uh, movement across this plate boundary increases when that happens. We'll watch this area across Sumatra, uh, potentially for some movement. Uh, New Zealand did have a little bit of activity stirring up out there. Um, last night let's just double check and see what the geonet servers are reporting here for new zealand 4.6 well it looks like that's an hour ago um i did have a 4.7 here just off the north island yesterday um that puts obviously the middle area along the plate boundary north and south island area in the mix there of potential earthquake activity uh, with this bouncing back and forth movement. So let's see what we got for the earthquake drums. That should show that four pointer pretty nicely here. South Island area. Zoom down here. There it is. The last couple hours, it looks like. And then, of course, last night's four pointer uh, is going to show up. And has it been over 24 hours? I don't think so. Um. Why am I not seeing it? That's kind of weird. Could it be this one? That doesn't look like it's centered directly over the uh, North Island area. Let me check uh, volcanic drums here and see what's going on. Somebody mentioned something about Taupo Super Volcano here yesterday. But for the most part, this looks uh, generally quiet on the seismograph. A couple small uh, microquakes there across the area. But uh, uh, yeah. Either way, we'll continue to watch that uh, across New Zealand for some uptick. Rest of the uh, Earthquake 3D globe here. A little bit of activity off the west coast there of Australia. 
The Atlantic Ocean, aside from the Azores and a little bit of activity up in Iceland, remained fairly quiet. I think the big thing is watching California, seeing how this uh, tropical storm affects plate dynamics there in that area. All right, let's check out space weather activity. Calm. Uh, a lot of flatlining going on out here. A couple low-grade sea flares in the last couple days, but that's about it. Uh, we do have a couple areas coming around the eastern limb of the sun that may uh, kick up solar activity here in the days ahead. Uh, but for the most part, the dynamics of the sunspot cores are uh, pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot of interesting development. In fact, this area, the newer region here across the southeastern quadrant of the sun, has... Uh, pretty much dissipated overnight here's that newer spot way out there we'll continue to watch that though as that uh kind of plays peekaboo out there on the eastern limb of the sun right now uh, it looks like we got a 99 percent chance for c flare possibility m flare at 20 x flare around one percent and uh, that's just that's just about it nothing major going on on the sun again i'm probably going to uh Pick one of the windows there on the live stream to include a radar imagery of the activity in Southern California. I think it's pretty important. Got a couple different radar systems I can use on there uh, for now, but uh, we'll continue to provide updates on anything um, that may be taking place out here with Tropical Storm Hillary uh, throughout the day today. So make sure you guys stand by and uh, we'll pop, pop on a little bit later. Have a good one. Enjoy your Sunday. Stay dry. Uh, well, if you're like me, I'd be out there dancing in the rain uh, where they need it. Southern California definitely needs the rain, but not all at once. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later on. Have a good one.